All right, so I'm going to put you on mute, both of you. All right, uh, namaste everyone. Uh, thanks for joining uh, the Hindi University. Uh, as you know, my name is Ashutosh. Uh, we meet every Sunday at 9 a.m. U.S. Eastern, and we learn about Hindi language. Um, and I'm really excited to have you in the class, uh, you know, uh, both on the Facebook side as well as on the uh, on the you know Google Hangout side. Um, for those of you who want to know more about Hindi University, you can learn about us by going to the, the YouTube channel, youtube.com slash Hindi University, one word. And you'll find several Hindi related videos. And uh, if, if you're fresher or if you're like already at a certain level of Hindi, to find all kinds of video and the best way for you to really get started is like if you're completely beginner you know you start with hindi 101 series you know and then you'll find it till hindi 104 uh, go to the pay playlist area okay if you're intermediate you start with hindi 201 and then you go to two you know three or something like that right that's what the series i have and then if you're advanced you can start the hindi 301 series uh, in this class you know uh, this particular segment uh, we are looking at the the topics in a little bit more detail uh, so it's like you know we start at the very basic level and then we kind of incrementally uh, change the complexity of it okay and we're going over the topic called hindi verbs okay the last two class we spent you know a significant amount of time discussing how do you really picture you know when you learn about words how you should visualize them right so far you know in the past we always started with like taking the to be form of the verb and then we jump directly to the conjugation of it okay uh, in the last two classes we we learned that you should really whenever you learn about a verb you should put them into three buckets whether it's an action verb it kind of expresses some sort of an action it's a linking verb okay whether it's linking the the subject and the you know uh the 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 adjective that you have there right and then and then we spoke about model verbs and model verbs are nothing but you know basically uh basically it's, this is nothing but helping verbs helping verbs are nothing but like you know can could may you know should all those are kind of like you know model verbs we also spend time describing about you know how to further classify the action verbs we, we we learned transitive and intransitive verb okay we learned about regular versus irregular verb in the previous class okay similarly there are causative verb and compound verb i mean these are like they may sound like a difficult word but trust me they are very simple okay so in the last class we spoke about regular irregular verbs in this class i'm going to spend some time on the regular verbs and I decided, like, you know, why not just do something different, which you've not done before? So even when we talk about the regular verb, uh, we'll be learning a little bit of a, a, a challenging, you know, uh, topic here. So give me just one minute. There is some, you know. Um, I have to start the, the video again on the on the Facebook side. All right, so we're back. So as I said, like in this class, the focus is really on the, the regular verb. And, uh, you know, if you stick with me, you will learn, uh, you know, a different kind of like, you know, uh, scenarios where the regular verbs can be used. OK, so in the past, if you have followed the classes, whenever we spoke about the tenses, uh, we spoke about mostly, you know, three cases. We spoke about, you know, present, uh, you know, indefinite tense. Where we, where we learned about, you know, things that you do on a regular basis, such as like, you know, I eat, I drink, I walk, right? I eat, I drink, I drink, I drink, I drink, I drink, okay? Things that you do it often. We also spoke about present continuous tense, right? 
so which means that you are doing presently such as like mai bol raha hu i am speaking mai padha raha hu i am teaching okay mai chal raha hu i am walking or mai dekh raha hu i am watching right all those are the present continuous and we we learned about present perfect things that you have completed okay uh maine padhaya okay i have completed okay maine bola i said okay um and then similarly like you know um i have heard the song okay maine gana suna hai okay or i have watched the movie maine movie dekhi hai something that you have completed those are the present perfect tense okay now what we have not done which is the focus of this class is you know something which is doubtful in the present tense okay so it's an interesting one but call it a doubtful present tense okay doubtful present tense uh and we have not done it in the past so this will be completely new topic you know uh for you guys okay doubtful present uh can anyone guess what it means you know what kind of scenarios you know the doubt that may come under the doubtful present tense feel free to write it down on the on the on the chat uh, you know on the facebook as well as on the on the google hangout side uh, the topic that may get covered in the doubtful present tense okay so we have folks joining on live on facebook as well so we just started the class you know and we're talking about you know how to kind of new topic doubtful present tense okay and just to elaborate a little bit further you know the the the, the kind of sentences that are covered in doubtful present tense are like you know um he may be he may be coming okay where you are doubtful about about it but you are saying that you know they he may or he may not come he may be coming okay they may be traveling they may be traveling to let's say london okay you are not sure you are doubtful about it but you are anticipating that this may be happening right now okay that's another example of a doubtful present tense okay um let's see the third one john maybe uh working or let's say yeah john may be looking for job so this is also a doubtful present it's in the present tense that's why it's you know the you know that the, the notion goes present tense now you are not sure you're doubtful about it maybe his job search is completed maybe he's already found a job okay that's why you are saying it like john may be looking for a job okay now all these the three sentences that you see they're all part of like your doubtful present and if you look at the commonality in all the sentences in english they are using maybe for all of them okay and if you look at the english conjugation all of them the verb is ending with ing okay now let me take a quick pause let me see how it works in other languages so anaji you want to share your thoughts how does it work in in french do you have something like that yeah same uh, uh let me see uh, may may is 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 translated with the verb which is il doit uh -huh. il doit venir he may he may come he may come oh, he, yeah so he But may we, come. we can't we can't say he is uh, yes we can say also uh, il est en train de venir he, he is he may be coming yeah okay so how do, what is the difference what is the difference between he comes versus he may be coming in hindi he comes is vah aata hai okay he may be coming we'll be learning shortly but how does it work it's in french in french we we add uh, two verbs uh, which is en train which means the ing form Oh, you you also put the i the verb does the verb doesn't change itself but you you add the en train i see so you're saying in french you will not add the verb doesn't change you just put something yeah. else after the 
after yeah. the sentence okay yes, okay yeah. perfect so we will do something similar in hindi also which i'm going to be showing you just now okay and so let's let's discuss how does it work in hindi then okay so let me just mute you so let's take one example he may be coming so if you remember like you know as i said like in the in the simple present tense or present indefinite you know when we spoke about he comes uh, it's rather very simple right it's rather vah for he and verb is to come is ana right so you said vah aata hai okay vah aata hai now he may be coming same as like anish ji mentioned in hindi also you know the case doesn't really you know vah remains vah there's no change in the you know pronoun even the verb part you know you still use the the same conjugation ana becomes aata it's the same thing for he now what you've done is you replaced have with hoga okay vah aata hoga he may be coming okay and similarly for a female it would be you want to guess anesh what will it for the for the girl hogi okay yeah let's say so this is he, he may be coming is vah aata hoga what if it is a girl vah aati vah aati hogi very good right so vah aati it's intuitive right once you start learning hindi you can tell that you know for a for a masculine uh, you know for feminine singular aati will go there and then you, you said hogi okay so the way you write it is ha with o and then ga with a hoga and then you said ha with o and then ga with e vah aati hogi so this is masculine singular and this is feminine singular okay so that's how you do it in in hindi now interesting thing to notice is this is your action verb and this is your remember anyone this is your linking verb right um so which is like to be form of the verbs okay now i'm assuming in french also the verb as you said anesh the verb is not changing only the last part is changing so i'm assuming at least the the sentence structure is more or less the same right okay all right so let's keep going um so this is one example of doubtful present right um for folks who just joined a bit late you know today we are talking about a uh, a uh, a different kind of like a, a verb you know or a tense here it's basically you know doubtful present tense okay so he may be coming now let's look at more sentences before we kind of like you know dig deeper and um, now another example i i which i wrote was they may be working they may be working okay so now before i give an answer of this or tell you how to you know think about writing this in hindi i want to give you the opportunity so i know this is still like in the early in the class but i want you to give it a try because you know some part of it you know how to say they in hindi you know how to say to work in hindi right i want to see your thought process whether you can you know where do you make the mistakes okay uh so we have several folks on the you know on the facebook live as well so what will be your you know um kaam karte very good shireen has um, you know she's already kind of completed ve karte honge okay so so i think we started getting some answers there i want to see more such answers sharan ji has returned you know all right so let's ve kaam karte honge so su has also written now so all good right so let's look at like they is nothing but ve okay as you all know the pronoun uh, they is ve now to work is kaam karna okay 
Now, in the present indefinite also, what we did was we removed na and we put for masculine plural, it's we put kaam karte. Okay, so we replace na with te. Okay, so what will be ve kaam karte? Now, that's the la last part, right? Um, when you say ve kaam karte hai, that means they work. Okay, now because it's a you know doubtful present, it has to be a conjugation of hona. Okay, and because it's a sort of masculine plural, you'll be saying ve kaam karte honge. Okay, ve kaam karte honge. When you're saying hoga, it's for masculine singular. When you're saying hogi, it's for feminine singular. When you're saying honge, it's for sort of like a group of people, and it, you can say it for masculine plural also. Okay, they kaam karte honge, and I'm going to give you the table, so don't worry about the you know memorization yet. The idea here is to just validate what you were thinking and whether it is you know uh, it's in the same you know it's an alignment or not, right? So how do you write honge in Hindi? So you have a her, you have a O and you have a G and then so this is so far hoge, okay? Because there's a nasalized sound, sound you will put a dot, which makes it honge. Ve kaam karte honge. Okay. Um, now, now that you've covered it, let's look at another way. How do you say they may be? They may be. Um, let's write something interesting. They may be cooking. Um, they may be cooking, let's say, dal. Okay. Now that you know the structure of it, how do you? Hopefully, this will be easier for most of you. How do you write this one or say this one in Hindi? Again, this is the doubtful. You don't know whether they are doing it or not. You are just anticipating. How do you say that? I'm going to give you the time. OK. And same exercise for folks who are watching live on you know, YouTube also. Uh, there are about 10 people watching live so i want you to also participate um so i can kind of like you know review your sentences they may be cooking dal or making dal right very good right so shirin is already kind of a step ahead what about other guys They may be cooking dal. Right. So to cook, I, I think if the problem is the verb, then to cook is pakana. Okay, pakana. Uh, it's pa, and then you have a k with a, and you have a na with a pakana to cook. Uh, and now you can remove na and you can do the proper conjugation of it if that was the challenge. Now let's see if this simplifies for some of you. And dal is nothing but a curry. So you can say anything, you know, if you feel comfortable with something else. You can replace dal with anything. You can say they may be cooking pasta. <laughs> All right. So I'll give you the answer. So as you know, the, the pronoun remains the same. It's basically they, uh, which is basically ve. Why don't I ask Anish? Anish, do you want to give it a try? How do you say that? You have to unmute yourself. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, ve, ve dal pakate honge. OK, very good. So you said ve dal. And then what is the word? Pakate. Pakate. How do you? How did you come up with pakate? Because the verb is pakana, so we 
we retire na, which is the end, and we uh, conjugate it with the pearl uh, subject, which, okay. which, uh, which is pacate. Okay. And Thank then honge, hon because we associate hon hona to a pearl form. Very good, right? So we dal pakate honge. Very good, right? Awesome. Awesome, right? So let's keep going. So I think you you got the you got the concept, right? Now let's look at more uh, you know interesting examples. Now let's look at the other doubtful scenario, which is basically imagine yourself sitting in a or standing in the a train station in India, okay, and uh, you know speculating that train may be coming. Train may be coming. Okay, uh, you know uh, the verb, you know, to come is Anna. Okay, you know it's a, it's a doubtful present tense because you know it's there is a use of maybe. Okay, and even if you're not thinking in English, you know you are speculating in your mind that you know whether it is coming or not. You don't know. You're anticipating, and you're just talking to fellow passengers that you know the train may be coming, right? So I'm going to give you some some time here to think about it, and I'm not going to give you the answer. Tell me how will you say that in Hindi? General rule of rule of thumb: Whenever you have difficulty coming up with a sentence, think about you know the sentence in in the present indefinite tense. Okay. Um, so in this case, like you know, you know, as I said, he comes is where aata hai. She comes where aati hai. Now he may be coming, she may be coming. You already know the rule for it. So I'm going to give you the time. I'm not going to give you the answer. And I'm going to let you write it down so that way I can kind of check your understanding over it. Okay. Now, uh, another thing which you, some of you have not asked is like, you know, whether train is, you know, masculine or feminine, right? So in Rail Gardi, it's which, which is basically Shri mentioned, it's considered feminine in in hindi right so hopefully that gives you another clue train may be coming awesome right so jennifer you are absolutely right and so is shireen so train is nothing but a real gadi right so that's what you said real gadi Gadi is general a, a, a car or a vehicle, right? And rail Gadi is like something that runs on the track, right? So you said rail Gadi, and then you said RT, which is basically nothing but, uh, you know, the conjugation, right? So the verb was Ana, you removed Na, and you replaced it with T for a feminine singular, okay? Then you said Ati, and then you said Hogi. Okay, because again, there is a doubtful present tense, right? So, Ati Hogi. And as I said, the way you write it in Devanagari, you have a H with O, and then you have a G with E. Train Ati Hogi. Okay. Uh, similarly, the same thing if you were to say about the plane, the plane may be coming. Okay. You're sitting in the airport and you know, you're not sure, but uh, you say plane Ata Hoga. Okay, because plane is considered masculine in Hindi. Right. So plain ata hoga. Now, so far, you know, you you may be in a situation where you, you're thinking that you know these sentences are making sense. I'm pretty comfortable with the subject. I I'm comfortable with the verb conjugation also. What I'm not comfortable with, with is the linking verb. What are the different forms of the verb? Okay. And how do I know which one to use? Because we we spoke about hoga, we spoke about hogi. We spoke about Hongi, okay? So what I'm going to do is like, I'm going to give you, you know, a table of all the, you know, different forms of, you know, uh, Hona here, okay? Now, before I do, the, do that, I want to, you know, I want to kind of like ask everyone, tell me the different scenarios where you can use, what is the utility of the doubtful present tense, right? So what are the use cases? What are the different use cases? Where will you be, you be using these kind of sentences, like you know, uh, the doubtful present tense? So I'm gonna unmute. Anish, you wanna give it a try? Um, like what? 
think about scenarios where we will be using you know these kind of sentences for the doubtful present you mean yeah yep yeah um when you're waiting for something uh, that might come okay waiting for something and uh, when you want to achieve something uh give an example you want when you want to achieve something an exam or job or interview okay. or whatever okay um Mm. When you're talking about the weather, it okay. might rain. It might. It might. Barish hoti hogi. Okay. So talking about weather. So basically, there is a possibility there, right? Because you are never hundred percent sure. Yeah. So there is a possibility or doubtfulness. There is. Okay. When you're so going you can... somewhere and you think there might be lots of people, you don't know if there will be. It's a little bit kind of waiting for something, but if you go somewhere and you don't know what you are gonna see or have. Okay. Okay. So those are good examples. Um, um, Chelsea, do you want to say something? Like you know, I mean, you've joined a bit late, but we are covering the doubtful present tense. Um, you may have joined it toward the end, but. Uh, Think of can you think of some some use cases where will you like to use these kind of sentences in the conversation or in the uh, which situations? Um, maybe if you're not sure about someone, like maybe she speaks Hindi or something like that. Yeah, very good. Right? So if you're unsure about about something about something or someone or their abilities then you're anticipating it all good right so this is very good you know it gives me more confidence now let me give you the table of the the conjugation part okay so i hope you have probably written it down now i'm going to go over the different forms of like you know whether you'll be using hoga or hogi or hoge right so once again you know you know The, the as as I said in the earlier, Hindi is a SOV language and language, right? So you have a subject, then you have an object, and then you have a verb, right? So that's how I'm gonna kind of write it down for you. So it'll be easier for you to to kind of remember, right? Um, so in this case, you know, you have two verbs. You have a subject, you have object, and then you know, I have written down two. You have action verb. and then you have a linking word okay so let's talk about he and she first you know so you have a he and she both of them are where okay now your sentence is let's say movie your object is movie and your verb is dekhna your 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 verb is dekhna okay So some of you already got the idea. What I'm trying to say is like you know all the cases, uh, he may be you know watching movie or she may be watching movie, they may be watching movie. Okay, I may be watching movie. All scenarios. Okay, so you feel free to go ahead. You know you you know if you've got the concept, you can start writing all the sentences. Okay, and uh, you know test your ability with you know with what I'm writing here. Okay, so if it is about he and she, you will be saying where movie. You know, and then as I said, you remove na and you put take ta. Okay, so for I think let's just split it, split it down. So for he, it would be bah movie take ta, and you'll be saying hoga for your linking word. And as I said, it will be her with o, and then ga with a. Bah movie take ta hoga. Okay. Now, same thing for a for a female or feminine singular will be she. In this case, you know, वह okay वह movie देखता होगा. For she, it will be वह movie देखती. And then your linking verb would be. होगी, 
वह मूवी देखती होगी नाउ लेट्स डिस्कस समथिंग व्हिच यू हैव नॉट डन व्हिच इज बेसिकली मैं आई ओके मैं इज यू नो मैं दिस मे नॉट मेक सेंस इंटूटिवली बट द कांसेप्ट इज मैं मूवी देखता व्हाट डू यू थिंक आनंद जी You have to unmute yourselves. Yep. Dekta uh, hui? No, no. No. Dekta. Dekta hu no. Dekta? I don't know. Okay. Uh, what do you think, Chelsea? Ji? Um, I think it will be the same. May movie dekhti hogi. Um, so no. yeah, slight slight difference. You know, for a for a, a masculine singular, it will be honga. Okay, for a feminine singular, it will be hungi. Okay, and I'm gonna write it down so it's easier for you. So again, for if I'm saying it, you know, it will be may movie dekhta. Hunga, okay. And the way you write it in Devanagari, you have a h, you have a u, and then g with a, and you have a you know this uh, hunga there, okay. Hunga. Man, movie dekhta hunga, and for a girl, it'll be same thing, but it'll be hungi. Man, movie dekhti hungi. Okay. So ho hopefully this is clear. Let's keep going. so the the table is very clear for you um now let's let's talk about aap now will be sort of like faster for you so aap is nothing but in hindi is or in you basically so now you're talking about you may be uh you know watching movie so aap movie now the the word conjugation is same as like you know dekhte aap movie dekhte then you know as we covered in the earlier sentence you'll be honge okay aap movie dekhte honge so as i said it'll be you know ho and then ge with a dot honge aap movie dekhte honge okay aap movie dekhte honge now let's keep going um so we covered he she we covered i you now we covered we okay so it will be hum movie dekhte and same thing as this one hum movie dekhte honge we may be watching movie aur hum ghoomte honge we may be you know traveling let's say hum paris mein ghoomte honge we may be traveling in paris uh we may be uh we may be working like on saturday um saturday ko kaam karte honge okay um now last one but not least is basically day okay day we already covered right so we movie देखते होंगे टू गिव रिस्पेक्ट यूर जनरल सेंग इट इन द सेम वे राइट वे मूवी देखते होंगे ओके सो एज यू कैन टेल दैट यू नो फॉर फॉर यू नो सो फॉर यू नो अगेन लाइक इफ यू वॉन्ट टू गिव रिस्पेक्ट यू कैन से होंगे इफ यू वॉन्ट टू बी वेरी पर्टिकुलर You know, आप मूवी देखते होगे यू कैन से होगी और से और होगी यू नो इफ यू वॉन्ट टू बी सेमाई फॉर्मल और लाइक यू नो विल बेट इन फॉर्मल बट इफ यू वॉन्ट टू गिव रेस्पेक्ट देन यू कैन से होंगे पार्ट राइट सो एज यू कैन टेल दैट यू नो दीज थ्री कैन ऑफ फॉलो द सेम स्ट्रक्चर होंगे ओके यू मे हैव टू रिमेंबर द अदर टू वेदर इज होगा और होंगी एंड सिमिलरली होगा एंड होगी फॉर मैस्कुल सिंगुलर एंड फेमिल सिंगुलर the so it's in my opinion if you remember this kind of a triplet scenario it will be easier for you to kind of you know to to, to kind of like you know uh, stay on track 
okay um, so it's less memorization if you kind of think in this particular fashion so that's basically the table around it and um, as long as you have the verb conjugation and the linking verb right you will not have any problem coming up with any sentence in this cases right so what i want to do is like now i want to um, take a moment and see if you guys have any questions so take a look at it read each sentence at a time okay let's not jump further <laughs> read it at a time and then tell me and you know what let's just do a quick exercise i want you to to look at the table and uh, just come up with at least three sentences okay one for each or three sentences that applies in your situation okay uh, something that you're not sure but you want to still say it in hindi and uh, as we are going over the class i will you know do the correction for your sentences so you know take your time and then write down three sentences As I said, it's more about you practicing it, right? So the more you practice, the more comfortable you'll be and the more confidence you will have on your ability to, to come up with these sentences. So take your time and then, you know, as I said, the ask is like three sentences, right? Three sentences using, you know, the, the doubtful present tense. And if there's any problem, I'll definitely help out. So you don't have to worry about that. Right. You want to try, Anishji? Uh, yes. Yeah, go for it. Um, first example, Veh lassi chata hoga? Veh lassi pita hoga? Chata. Chata hoga. Okay. He may be desiring a lassi. Okay. Uh, is rat party me ham nachte honge? Papas bolo. Is rat ham party me nachte honge? Tonight we might dance at the party. Okay, we might, we may be, we may be dancing at the party. Is that what you're trying to say? Yeah. We may be, uh, we may be dancing at the at the party. Hum, party um, me. Keep going now. Yeah. Hum party me nachte honge. That's right. Hum party me nachte honge. Okay. And uh, uh, ma uh, chai uh, piti hogi. Ma chai piti hogi. Okay. Very good. Uh, and you said hogi because it's uh, you know feminine singular. Good, good. You want to make more? No, that's strange. <laughs> <laughs> Just do not ask for more. You only said three, right? So, uh, Chelsea, you want to give it a try? Okay. Um, Vehe Bharat Jaan Kaise Hai? Vehe Bharat Jata Hoga. Main Chai Banati Hogi. Main Chai Banati Hogi. And Hum. Chutti karte honge. Hum chutti lete honge. So you said hum chutti. So we may be taking a vacation or we may be taking a break. Okay, so hum chutti lete honge. All good. Awesome. Um, let's see if people started making, you know, some more sentences. Okay, I'm glad I see something. My kitchen paint karti. Okay, so Sharanji, the verb, if you don't know, you know, how to say, you know, to paint in Hindi. You can always use karna. So you can say paint karna. Okay. Similarly, if you don't know, you know, a word for to cook, pakana, you can say cook karna or cooking karna. So you can say main kitchen paint karti hungi, which is correct. So your sentence is absolutely correct. And Jennifer, your sentence is like main jati hungi, which is correct, right? So you can say main Paris jati hungi or main, you know, London jati hungi. Or may you know, um, Peru jati hongi. That's absolutely correct, right? Um, hum holiday se aate hongi. That's correct too, Karanji. Only part is like, you know, uh, 
यू मिसिंग अ पोस्ट पोजिशन राइट आई मीन हॉलीडे से आते होंगे बट अदरवाइज योर सेंटेंस इज आर करेक्ट ऑल गुड Keep writing, guys. Like you know, the more sentences you write, the more kind of immediately I'll know whether you know your thought process is correct or not, or whether it needs to, uh, you know, I need to 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 focus on something a little bit more. Okay. So now, now what I want to do is like you know, I wrote a, a small story around the use of you know, um, doubtful present. Okay. Now this part may be a little bit of a, a you know. challenging because you have to think a lot as i'm writing the story you may have to kind of like think ahead of me and tell me what it means okay so stay with me because if you miss some of it like or if you didn't follow some of the the lecture the story will help you kind of like you know think through right it will help you uh, you know remain active and tell me what what is really going on here so so this is really about like you know how usually typically moms right they're always thinking they're always worried about their kids right i mean uh, whether he is he may be eating food or he may be drinking water what not right or he may be studying he may be playing or taking care of the health or not right so so when i was writing about it i thought about like you know um, how a typical or any mom will be thinking okay so the the it's it's kind of like a small paragraph about like rohan and rohan's mom Rohan is a boy who just like left house and he is in the hostel and Rohan's mom she is very worried okay and he is basically she is basically you know um thinking in the in the doubtful present tense okay so i'm going to write down like you know about six or seven sentence sentences i want you to read with me okay and i want you to kind of you know translate ahead of me okay so here you go so it says Rohan रोहन पहली बार ओके रोहन पहली बार घर से दूर हॉस्टल गया था ओके सो रोहन पहली बार घर से दूर हॉस्टल गया था ओके सो दिस सेंटेंस इज नॉट इन दी इन दी the doubtful present tense okay this is just the beginning rohan pehli baar ghar se dur hostel gaya tha uski maa sochne lagi uski maa okay uh, pareshan thi pareshan thi aur sochne lagi sochne lagi okay uh now now comes the next part rohan khana khata hoga okay so rohan hostel mein rohan hostel mein khana khata hoga rohan hostel mein khana khata hoga uh रोहन खुश रहता खुश रहता होगा ओके okay? uh, उसके दोस्त रोहन से ओके सो द नेक्स्ट वन इज दोस्त दोस्त रोहन से दोस्त रोहन से बात करते होंगे दोस्त रोहन से बात करते होंगे हर दिन वह हर दिन एक्सरसाइज नथिंग बट व्यायाम वह हर दिन एक्सरसाइज करता होगा ओके वह हर दिन व्यायाम और एक्सरसाइज करता होगा हॉस्टल में बच्चे टाइम पे हॉस्टल में बच्चे 
टाइम पे और समय पे टाइम पे सोते होंगे बच्चे टाइम पे सोते होंगे मैडम डांटती नहीं होगी ओके मैडम डांटती नहीं होगी आ, रोहन कमरा साफ रखता होगा रोहन अपना कमरा साफ रखता होगा ओके सो सो इट वॉज अ लॉन्ग शॉर्ट ऑफ अ लॉन्ग लॉन्ग पैराग्राफ लेट मी रीड इट विद यू ओके अगेन इट्स वीज आर थॉट ऑफ अम यू नो रोहन पहली बार लेट मी रीड लाइक अ टिपिकल लाइक लाइक आई एट द पेस आई वुड रीड एज अ नेटिव हिंदी यू नो स्पीकर so you can really follow it you know and you can practice listening skills as well okay so i'm going to read it little bit at the normal pace rohan pehli baar ghar se dur hostel gaya tha uski maa pareshan thi aur sochne lagi rohan hostel mein khana khata hoga uh, rohan khush rehta hoga uh, uske dost rohan se baat karte honge wah har din uh, exercise you know in hindi vyayam karta hoga हॉस्टल में बच्चे टाइम पे सोते होंगे मैडम डांटती नहीं होगी और रोहन अपना कमरा साफ रखता होगा ओके इट वाज अ लॉन्ग पैराग्राफ बट द आइडिया हियर इज लाइक यू नो इट्स रिटर्न इन द इट्स रिटर्न इन द डाउटफुल प्रेजेंटेंस ओके एंड द एक्सरसाइज हियर इज लाइक यू नो आई ओपन अप एंड आई एम गी एंड चेलसी जी टू टू ट्रांसलेट इट for me but um, for everyone like you know take a snapshot of it and do it on your own right now right as we are watching the class so that way at least you can validate your understanding as we are going through it okay so um, anichi you want to start with the first line yeah uh peri bar is uh, for the first time Can you hear me? Yeah, Penny Bar is first time. Okay, so Rohan for the first time. Garcidur, uh, uh, Gayata went. Very good, right? Garcidur, uh, far from his house. Garcidur is uh, far from his house. That's right. And hostel, hostel is uh, hotel. Hostel. hostel is so hostel is like you know how you have the dorm right and like in the us and i'm sure like in, in france also you have a dorm right people will go when they're going to college they'll stay in the dorm right so hostel is basically okay okay yeah so it's nothing but a dorm <laughs> okay so it means uh for the first time rohan went to the dorm uh, far from his house that's right that's right i keep going I'm going to go over the first उसकी माँ परेशान थी और सोच सोचने लगी उसकी माँ इज हिज माँ इज मदर वॉज थिंकिंग दैट मी थिंक उसकी माँ परेशान परेशान इज नेबर नो 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 परेशान इज 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 एडिक्टिव परेशान इज Happy or, or or afraid? Afraid, no. Parishan is perplexed or worried. Yeah, yeah, worried. Yeah. yeah. So he, his his mother, uh, Parishan, she was feeling uh, worried. Uh huh. She was worried. And suchne lagi, such nights to think. So uh -huh. she, so she feels thinking. She, no, started, she started thinking okay uh, she started thinking okay so this particular part we have not covered it in the previous classes like you know mai khane laga aur mai sochne laga aur mai bolne laga that i started speaking aur mai okay. bolne laga but the the phrase is we will cover it in the later classes but the point is that she started thinking or she started okay. to think okay 
Uh, more? Yeah, you do one more and then we'll. You know. Okay. Yeah. Rohan, Hustan me khana kata hoga. Hustan uh, me in the dome. Yeah. Rohan, khana kata hoga. Uh, may have food. May eat food. Maybe eating food, right? Rohan yeah. may be eating food and be in the dorm. Okay, awesome. So all good, right? So as you see, you you notice some of the keywords. Pehli baar is first time. Okay, ghar se dur, right? There's another phrase. Ghar se is far from the house. Okay, ghar se dur. And hostel is nothing but as I said, dorm. And gaya, as you know, as you notice, it's a It's a past of Jana. Jana is to go. Gaya is the past tense, right? I mean, so because as we as you notice in the last class we learned, it's an irregular word, right? So he went to the hostel or dorm, right? And now uski ma parishanti. It's a key word. Parishan is another vocabulary word which means perplexed or worried, right? Uh, she was worried and she started to think. Okay? And this hopefully this part should be said for Rohan. Hostel में खाना खाता होगा that he may be eating food in the dorm. Uh, Chelsea, do you want to cover the next three? Okay. Rohan खुश रहता होगा. Hmm. Uh, Rohan must be staying happy. Okay. He may be yeah that's right. He may be staying happy. दोस्त रोहन से बात करते होंगे. Hmm. Um, Rohan must be talking with his friends. Or rather the other way around. His friends. His friends. Maybe must be talking with Rohan. Yeah. And then he heard an exercise. Kerta hoga. He must. He may be doing exercise every day. That's right. All good. Right. So you want to cover the 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 next two also, and then you know Anish, you can cover the last one. Okay. Hostel me bache time pe sote hoge. Um. In the hostel, the kids must be going to bed on time. Mm-hmm. And then. <clears throat> Madam Danti nahi hogi. Um, I'm not sure what Danti is. Okay, so to dart na is to, and again, it's not a common thing, uh, especially here. Nobody, and typically in India, you know, to dart na is like to to kind of like you know, um, to how do you say that? Like to correct someone or to kind of like you know, in a real sense, is to to punish basically, right? To, to, okay, like yeah. discipline, maybe. Yeah, exactly, right. So to discipline. Okay. So, Madam Danti nahi hoki. Mm-hmm. The teacher headmistress must not, may not be punishing them. Rohan. Yeah, that's right. So again, dartna is to to you know in in some sense to punish, right? I mean, it's a uh, not a harsh punishment. Dartna is like you know why are you not eating? Why are you not like drinking on time? Dartna is milder form. There are still severe form of punishment, but. You you don't use the word dark not for that. Anyway, uh, Anesh, you want to cover the last one? Rohan, apna kamra saaf rakta hoga. Mm-hmm. Rohan, uh, maybe maybe uh, cleaning his uh, bedroom, taking yeah. care of the of the cleaning. Yeah, awesome, right? So he may be keeping his house or room clean. Right? Um, so you guys hit it completely correctly, right? Let me see if there are any questions on the on the on the Facebook Live. Um, okay. Yeah. So uh, again, just to to summarize, you know, I think some people ask this question. This is a a doubtful present tense, like which where like you know uh, things may be happening. You are not sure about it. Uh, you, you you are anticipating about them, right? So we've not covered it in the past. So far, as I said. In the past, we always covered like the three forms of the verb, right? The present indefinite tense, which is basically things you do often, like you know, my khata hu, my pita hu, my bolta hu. Like so, so same sentence, like you know, or same like if I were to give an example using this one, right? In present indefinite, it will be Rohan hostel me uh, khana khata hai that he eats his lunch or khana khata hai that he does it often, right? Uh, present continuous will be Rohan dorm me khana kha uh, raha hai. He is eating it right now. Okay. In present perfect, you'll be saying Rohan me khana kha liya hai. He is he has had his food. Okay. What you're not covered is the 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 doubtfulness, right? I mean that. Uh, what about the doubt doubtfulness whether whether you're sure or not about it, right? So that's when we say 
रोल हॉस्टल में खाना खाता होगा राइट सो इट्स सॉर्ट ऑफ अ न्यू टॉपिक वी नॉट कवर्ड इन इन द लास्ट फोर हंड्रेड एंड फिफ्टी वीडियो सो समिंग न्यू टू टू कैंड ऑफ लर्न what uh, the, the homework exercises we are almost like in only 5 minutes away so i'm going to open it up for for discussion but the homework exercises for you guys to again to write down like about five sentences in the in the doubtful present tense and send it to me okay uh, uh, another exercise i would say is like you know go over this write up again and identify things that you know that you found difficult that were not so clear to you and send it to me Uh, and you can just if you're watching it live on facebook you can just put it on the comments uh, it will help me understand you know your you know where you are facing difficulty okay but with that in being in mind i'll stop the broadcast uh, thanks for everyone who watched the live on facebook and google hangouts uh, and uh, i'm going to take the, the questions from from the